Oregon in the classroom. So, show of hands, who here remembers playing Oregon Trail in the second grade? Basically everyone. All right, great. Thank you for saying yes. So, second question, who remembers anything else from second grade? Okay. Wow, more than I expected. Okay. Really as much as you remember Oregon Trail. So, my name is Shane. Uh, I'm a game designer, and my background is actually in economics, and I've always been very interested in issues that are affecting our country. In particular, education, I think, is very, very important. And to that point, I've actually developed several educational video games that bring Mario into the classroom, or uh, Professor Mario, as I like to say. So here are some statistics that might surprise you. Uh, currently, out of 34 OECD countries, the United States ranks 14th in math, 25th in reading, and 23rd in science. That's pretty terrible, especially considering we are the world's largest economy, and we're the third biggest country on Earth. We can definitely do a lot better than that, and I think Professor Mario can help us out a little. Now, my sister is a teacher here in Orlando, and I have several teacher friends back home as well in Connecticut. Now, they all tell me the same thing, that they are forced by the state to teach to the standardization of the test, and they're forced to make students memorize stuff. And they all wish that they could have more interactions in their classroom. And it's very interesting, because a recent study found that students in science and math classes, when they were split up between a traditional lecture-based class versus a more interactive-based class, the students who were over here in the interactive-based classroom were 55% more likely to pass that class. Spoiler alert, 55% is a lot, guys. That's a big number. Uh, so currently, we're still stuck here, though. So the question is, I mean, obviously, we need to make our classrooms more interactive. The question is, how do we do that? So, I love games. I love games because they are interactive. You get in the story, you make the story happen. I love games because I've learned so much from video games because they are interactive. So what if we brought Mario into the classroom? What if we taught video game classes? So imagine, if you will, for one second, you're in third grade. Bell rings, time for the next class. It's video game class. That would be so cool! I would, if I was that kid, I would run to the next class because it would be fun as hell. And quite frankly, we know that the students would learn a lot more in that type of class. So, currently, obviously that's more in the classroom, but currently we're still stuck here. Did you guys know that in the state of Florida, my sister's kindergarten class is required by the state to know exactly 100 sight words by the end of the year? As if that arbitrary memorization is somehow going to make them better off in the future. I don't really think so. We're still kind of stuck in this point. So ladies and gentlemen of the board, my proposed curriculum to you is a video game supplemental curriculum. What I mean is three classes a week, one math, one reading, one science. There will be 40 minute classes, 10 minute lesson uh, session, and then a 30 minute interactive media session with the kids get to learn through video games. They'll learn more because it's interactive and they'll have more fun. It is a no-brainer. So ladies and gentlemen, if we take the steps today to start implementing this curriculum, our children, our students, will be better off. Remember the question I asked you at the beginning? Oregon Trail? A lot more people remember that than all the other standard stuff that you learn in second grade. We know that if we take these steps, our students will be better off to handle the challenges of tomorrow. So thank you very much for your time, and have a good night.